It is the woman, not the man, who determines all the terms of the relationship. I don't remember which famous scientist once said that when he got together with his wife, they agreed on such rules where she would decide on all the small things and leave the big complex things to him. And then he added that, surprisingly, during the forty years of marriage, he did not have to deal with any big complex matter. I laughed at it the first time I heard it. Today, I rather consider it a sad fact of the coexistence of a man and a woman. But back to Brifault. According to this great man, it is the woman, not the man, who determines all the terms of the relationship. Where a woman cannot gain any benefit from a relationship with a man, the relationship never occurs. In other words, despite what we are fed through the media, the feminist-tinged slander of men as dominant oppressors self-proclaimed helmsmen, when it comes to intimate relationships, not even a ticket will move without a woman. It is the woman who holds the keys to the chamber. Of course, it is clear to everyone that it is the woman who holds the power of the last word in the matchmaking game. She is the woman who gives a thumbs up or thumbs down at every suitor, at every new goal of the relationship, at every decision where the relationship will go next. The man can only agree or leave. But considering that the average guy is happy to even approach a young woman without being pushed away, the likelihood of protests is small. On the contrary, the average young woman has enough suitors, since men cast their nets as wide as possible for greater success, so she does not suffer from the anxiety of losing an opportunity if she misses something or early rejects if it is not entirely to her liking. So she has room to be more arrogant, more picky and not lose a minute of sleep. Why would she bother with a man who won't take her hand? Brifault underscores these truths by arguing that intimate relationships between men and women are the result of a woman's calculation of effort versus benefit. Does she or does she not make a net profit after accounting for her investment from the relationship with the man? In this case, net profit is a mixture of all the qualities that a man requires from appearance to status, money to personality skills. I must emphasize here that a woman is only interested in those personal qualities and abilities from which she can directly benefit, and not general social value. Only what will enrich her world. She can also be personality of the year. If she doesn't get any profit from it, it's worthless to her.